Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here, I hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to talk about Streets of Tarkov and what we currently know regarding this map at the moment. Now to be perfectly honest with you guys and girls, we don't know too much about this map right now. There aren't many facts out there, we haven't been told too much information from, uh, from Battlestate games. So at the moment... We're kind of surmising and just going on the little hints that we've been given about this map. So in terms of the actual size of this map, we are probably looking at something that is going to be the largest map that has ever been made. Now this is something that Nikita has said himself, he says it will be the biggest map for Escape from Tarkov. They want it to be the marquee map, they want it to be the map that people think of when they think of Escape from Tarkov, they want this to be the most popular map. Now in terms of the actual footprint of this map, I don't think it's going to be any bigger than and shoreline or interchange are right now in terms of the actual border space because I think that is probably pushing the limits of what is capable on everybody's systems obviously they don't want people to take too much of a performance hit if the performance hit is too big people are not going to play that map so I don't think in terms of those maps we're going to see it any bigger than that but in terms of actually floor space going up inside some of these buildings I think it's probably going to be the highest that we've seen before now obviously you go onto maps like reserve and there's buildings on there that are floor four five floor high we're seeing that in the uh, trailer on here that there are buildings that go a lot higher than that and Battlestate have said that to the best of their abilities every room and every building will be explorable on this map. I don't think that'll be the case I think there'll be some areas that are locked off that you can't access so some of the areas on customs for instance where you're walking around buildings that you can't actually go in I think we might get some areas like that but BSG can be forgiven for doing that if that's what keeps performance at a half decent level on this map. So yeah in terms of size it's probably going to be the biggest Obviously in the uh, reveal trailer that we had you could see skyscrapers in the background. Now the rumours I'm hearing is that those skyscrapers are just backdrop at the moment but they may be added into the map later on as DLC. Now DLC is a long way off, that is after the release of Escape from Tarkov if it ever does release but we will see about that one. So when will we actually get to see Streets of Tarkov? Well at the moment they are aiming for patch 0.13. Now they're releasing a major patch roughly it's every month to a month and a half depending and I'd go with about a month and a half. We've still got 12.7 to drop which I think will be towards the back end of July and then if you go working on a month after that you will be looking at 0.13 coming out around the end of October beginning of November. I think however they might hold off a little bit longer than that and maybe try to push the release towards the Christmas period. The reason for that is that 0.13 is probably going to come with a wipe. It's going to be a huge update and I think it will come with a wipe. If it happens in November we will be looking at being six months, roughly six months after the previous wipe and that's roughly the time where we get towards where everybody wants a wipe or where they decide to wipe the game. It's roughly every six to seven months. I think they might stretch it a little bit just to hit that holiday period. If they could do the wipe, drop the new map and have it at the holiday period, do drops on Twitch, they would emulate what they had last holiday season where they had the drops going, they had a lot of engagement in the game. Obviously the vast majority of Tarkov players suffered then because we have a lot of server issues but they brought massive new amounts of players into the game. Obviously lots of sales, all of the streamers jumped on it and it created a big buzz about the game so I think if they could do that again with the inclusion of this new map I think that would be amazing and it would definitely put Escape from Tarkov on the map in the gaming world. But that is just my opinion I think they might stretch it out but they might just decide to release it and it might not even have a wipe. Who knows? Player limit on this map I'm hearing it's going to be upwards of 40. Personally I don't think it'll go that high. The maps that we've got currently struggle to support over 16 players so I can't see it going as high as 40. It doesn't matter how big the map is the more players you put on the more information needs to be processed and the more performance hit you take so I can't see it being 40. I could see it being conservatively, conservatively about 20 players maybe and then they might toy around with adding more later on. I think the first iteration of we get that we get of this map will be an unfinished map. I think it will. they will put it out as it is and then gradually add to it and update it and upgrade the map as we go. It's much like what you've got with customs right now where they're adding um, they added the scav boss, they did the expansion to it, they're going to do another expansion to it very soon with 12.7. I think they'll do the see it same with Streets of Tarkov. They'll start off with a basic iteration of it and slowly build on it from there. Will it have scav bosses? I'm hearing that it might have upwards of two but again 
that's something that I would probably think is maybe pie in the sky, given the performance that this map might or might not have. So I think conservatively it will probably have one. I can't see it having two myself. Two would be good. But yeah, again, we'll have to wait and see. And that is pretty much all we know on Streets of Tarkov right now. As I say, we're surmising a lot of these things. A lot of it is just opinion based. There's very few facts in there other than we know it will come with patch 0 0.13. Up to now, I would expect that to maybe slip, as a lot of things do with Escape from Tarkov. But watch this space. As soon as I know any more on this map, I will, of course, do a video and update you guys. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and you'll be notified of my latest videos. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. As as always, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.